Good morning, Drew. Good morning, buddy. Dude, you know what I kind of thought last night? I kind of thought there was a Sasquatch. <laughs> so I kept you hearing things probably, roaming around. You probably kind of thought, man, I wish I could get in this cabin. But I was kind of thinking that. I was like, man, you know, I'd really like to get in this cabin because I'm hearing things on the edge of the woods, but for some reason I couldn't get in the cabin. <laughs> Don't know what it was. Oh, man. Mm. Look at that cypress tree. I mean, folks, it's about as close to heaven as you're going to come right there. God, let's do it. Just caught my first Kentucky Lake bass here on uh, on a jig, and I saw it. I saw it eat the eat the jig. But actually, this is not my first Kentucky Lake bass. Technically, I caught my first bass when I was a kid out here. But back at it as a full-grown adult fisherman. So give this guy a return to the water. <clears throat> All I heard was a man yelling and a, some sort of splashing. Other than that, I'm not sure what happened. Drew, you gotta tell the story. Where you just caught that fish? Is that the same bush? He was literally just telling me about a bush he'd caught like a five and a six. Last time I was in this spot, you know, last year in June, this small bush right here hung a six on top of that guy. Made the next flip over there, hung a five and got hung on the top of that guy, it came off. Made a flip in that bush and, and you know hung another good one and and so we're back a year later, same time frame and another fish, just not nearly as big. Got it in. <laughs> not a five pounder, but apparently they like these bushes right here. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, we have been up shallow a little bit. We've caught we've caught a few decent bass. I mean, what I would consider a good bass. But Mr. Drew, he knows this lake. He says. It's time to go deep. We're gonna go look around. We're going for Squatch. We're going for Mr. Squatch. Yeah, we're gonna find him. Okay. All right, guys, we have pulled up to a, a ledge now. Tennessee River Ledge. Tennessee, straight up legend now. We're on the main river ledge and uh, we're down south somewhere. The infamous New Johnsonville. <sighs> New Johnsonville. We just marked probably like a good dozen fish maybe more that were sitting here on this ledge so we've got full arsenal laid out we're gonna see what's gonna work here jigs swim baits crank baits we got it all we, we've got enough that literally something's gonna stick something's gonna happen saddler's hooked up that is a that's a t put that one in live well we can eat him tonight that's an appaloosa dude, dude that oh i thought it was it you some of that fatty. Felt exactly like that last one. Small. I caught two, say one inside and one outside over seven and a half, two straight fish. Goodness gracious. Yeah. That's a giant. Yeah. See here, check them out from the boat, see? That's a good small help. Hey, brown fish. A brownie. I'll take an old brownie. Here we go. Smally. Summer Smally. on in here. Well guys, this is a Kentucky Lake bass right here. That Drew just caught. Caught it on a crankbait. 
thing that I'm hooked up to. Got a double. I got mine on a jig though. He got his on a crankbait and we're out on a ledge. Just kind of out in the middle of the, the lake on a creek channel. Another little decent bass right there. I think we're igniting a school right here. This is good. This is my this is my first time Kentucky Lake ledge fishing. That's good times. And is that is that what it takes? You just oh, oh yeah, buddy. Just takes one. Just takes one to get them going. Another good one on the crank. There we go. Oh, that was a fatty. Nice, nice. Another good one. There's one. Oh, man, I missed one there. Now, the exact same thing that just happened. I got to bite while you were reeling your, your fish in. So it's like they are clearly communicating down there. Fire. There's one. Oh, damn it, I lost him. Damn it, <laughs> <laughs> A little shoulder bump. Another. Yeah. All right, was that my bad? I mean, I did the matrix. I tried. That's head shakes. Oh gosh, it's a giant, yeah. It's not a bass. If it is a bass, it's a, it's like an eight pound bass. Oh my gosh. I mean, if that would have came off early, I would have said it was a, it was a 10 pounder. I guess it's pretty close to one. See you, Mr. Drum. Here we go, folks. That's gotta be a drum. There he is. That's what a giant drum looks like. And there she goes. Mega drum. That's some of the biggest drum I've ever caught in my life. Doubled up. I got mine on a swim bait. Drew's on a crank bait. Just a healthy bass. Fishing a little Kai Tech on a football jig head. Doubles are always welcome. There's one. That's a good one there. It's either a 10 pound smallmouth or it's one of these guys. I'm gonna be respectful and not get goo all over Drew's carpet here. Mr. Drew tells me this is a common occurrence out here. I would consider this a big one. You're saying that this is just a little, oh, that's, a baby. that's a little Joe Schmo there. <laughs> Just rolled up to a new spot. This is called ledge hopping, guys. Go around, we've only been catching like a couple fish on each one, that's all they'll, they'll let us have. Yes. Sweet. Yes. Up, some, up. That's a dandy there, sir. Bad, right? Well, he's not as big as I thought. Still a solid bite right where they were supposed to be. Mark them on the graph, throw a buoy out, make a cast. Bada bing, bada boom. I knew that would eventually get one. The shaky head. Hey, let me tell you something about life. Shaky heads always catch fish. Oh, there's one. Yes, son. Really painful. Oh, right yeah. There. Woo! Just a solid, you know, two and a half. They're chunky, man. These are chunkier than my Texas bass. They've got like a fatter face to them. It's weird. Yes, sir. Got one. Double hookup. This one's a... This one's a good one. I think mine is too. Oh God, yeah. Oh yes, yeah, sir. I'm not so sure mine's a bass. I think mine's something big. Nice one, dude. Nice one. I do have a bass. It's a big one. I've got a big bass here. Oh. Yes, oh. sir. Get in my house. 
Get in my house right yeah. now. Yeah. Look at that dub ski. That's awesome. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. There we go, guys. Ledge fish out here on the main lake, Kentucky Lake. That's my biggest bass out of Kentucky Lake so far, PB. Thanks, Drew. Oh, yeah, buddy. More to come. And there's more down there, huh? That's awesome. I duck. <laughs> you rear into one, and then I have one. Yeah. Like, they just, and they're far apart. Yeah, they're not, it's not like they can see each other. Yeah, it's not like they can see each other. They were probably a good 30, 30 yards apart. I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't get it. It's weird. There's a science to it. I'd like to know what it is. Oh, I totally jacked that one up. Gosh, that was my fault. He's probably got my worm, too. Yeah. I mean, I was, it was one of those, like, is it a rock? I'll pull oh, one, yeah. pull one more time. It was like, one of those. what's it gonna take to ignite these guys? Nice, nice. That's a good one though. You don't often ski fish like that. Look at that. So, here's the funny thing. Yum. We just pull up these fish. Justin's been throwing a swim bait. I've been throwing a crank bait. First cast with a jig. As soon as it gets to the bottom, that one hits it. Yes, sir. That's one thing I'll say. This uh, this seven five heavy action Zodius, dude, it gets them moving. It gets it turns them. There we go. It's a little guy. That's Is a that Kentucky? a Kentucky? Yeah. That's really neat. So what's cool is we've caught spotted bass, largemouth, and smallmouth all in the same day. Really cool. And drum and catfish. We haven't discriminated very much. My first day fishing Kentucky Lake, absolute blast. I'm gonna be here a couple more days, but uh, this was a fun one. Learned how to do a little ledge fishing. Learned, oh, yeah. learned a few things from Mr. Drew here. Thank you guys for staying tuned today. We'll catch y'all later. I don't think I got a hook in him. Got him, yeah! Dude, tag team.